Hello guys, welcome back to this Solana update. I will only talk about the imminent short-term price action, the second update of today. So make sure that you watch it towards the very end. Before we start guys, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and if you wanna join my trade signal group, click the first link in the description or just scan the code on the right side of your screen. Lastly, follow me on Twitter, Steph underscore is crypto for the latest updates. So yeah, from our last update, we, are we were talking about that Solana uh, was most likely uh, continuing its way towards the upside and it's doing that at the moment and we are at the moment at critical resistance here on the logarithmic time scale at the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level at $12.52. So this is a very critical area of resistance. You can also see that Solana yeah, actually went above the one to one ratio here uh, on the logarithmic time scale. If I go back to the linear scale, you can also see that we went above the one to one ratio of this potential Elliott wave one. What do I mean? Well, this could be a bullish structure here, a wave one, a wave two down, and we are right now possibly in the wave three with a, a bare minimum price target. Let me actually switch back to the linear scale. The minimum target we should reach in this wave three is $13.66. Um, however, um, yeah, if we go to the logarithmic time scale, currently you can see that we are trading at around the one to one ratio, which is normally a target. If this is not an impulse, then this is most likely an A wave up, a B wave down and a C wave up with the one to one ratio as the most likely target here. So very critical point here. If Solana decides to go above $12.52, that would be a very, very bullish sign and then most likely we will head towards a target of minimum $13.66 all the way up to $14.82. So it's looking very bullish. You can also see the volume is increasing a lot here. So um, yeah, it looks very impulsive to me. If we go to the indicators, we can see that Solana is trading in the overbought region, which is what you want to see in an uptrend. RSI currently uh, creating lower highs here on the hourly time frame and higher highs on the price so this is a bearish divergence on the rsi on the one hourly time frame however uh, only if we see a breakdown this bearish divergence will get confirmed but at the moment the trend is still up so we should still be aware that the price could still go higher on the four hourly time frame no divergences so everything is looking healthy at the moment however guys if we zoom out here a little bit, let's go to the daily time frame. We can actually see here that Solana at the moment is approach. Yeah, it's actually exactly at the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level on the logarithmic time scale. If we break above this level and especially if we break above $15, then we have officially confirmed an uptrend on the daily time frame. And then I can say with a lot of certainty that the bear market low for Solana was in. But at the moment I cannot confirm that, but it's looking very promising and if we zoom in back again to this price action here then you can see how significant this looks because if i measure the entire price move from off the low we already went up for approximately 57 percent so significant push to the upside and solana it looks like it is not stopping so would i open a long position here well personally i think the risk is getting a little bit too high to open a position you're opening a position exactly at resistance however since everyone is shorting Solana and everyone is expecting that Solana will go down, you could potentially open a super high risk trade here. I would say set my stop loss here at $11.69 and my take profit target would be at um, the first take profit would be at $13.66. But again, guys, it's super high risk. You are uh, longing at resistance and we are seeing bearish divergence on the hourly time frame and we are uh, yeah, overextended basically. So the risk is definitely extremely high. Would I short here? Absolutely not. We are still in an uptrend. So I think the risk to short is definitely very high. I would only short if I see significant breakdown with a lot of volume and then I would short the retracement. But at the moment, I would not do that. So that's my analysis. I'll be back tomorrow with another more detailed update. If you want an overview about the Solana, the entire Solana chart, uh, then check out my previous update from today where i discussed a longer term view about solana thanks a lot for watching uh, i appreciate all your support and i'll be back tomorrow thank you bye bye